Hello friends, today I am here with a video on the Karstel VCH2 handheld vacuum cleaner. This is not an unboxing kind of video, this is a review. Uh, I have been using this uh, handheld vacuum cleaner for the, the last two weeks and I just thought that I'll give my uh, user impressions on this product so that if you are a person uh, planning to buy a compact uh, cordless vacuum cleaner then uh, it might help you uh, in making that decision to buy the best product available in the market so friends this uh, Karsche is a German brand it is a family owned company based in uh, Germany known for their uh, uh, cleaning products so uh, this particular model BCH2 is a cordless vacuum cleaner compact cordless vacuum cleaner uh, so what you see here are the contents of the box you get the vacuum cleaner you get a crevice nozzle uh, which you can open up like this and so now this is a crevice nozzle with a brush attachment and this is pretty sturdy and then you get this micro USB cable a normal micro USB cable and then the brochure and yes the vacuum cleaner so you can see that this vacuum cleaner is very beautiful in any angle this vacuum cleaner is uh, pretty beautiful to see so I hope you can read this handheld vacuum car share. this one is made in China it has got a lithium-ion battery like any other electronic devices uh, these days comes with a lithium-ion battery so let's move the contents of this box to one side and I will just uh, open up the vacuum cleaner for you so you can see that there is a lock unlock button no lock unlock symbol given here it's pretty easy now see there's a pointer here you have to move the pointer towards this unlock to get it unlocked now like this okay so it's so simple so the vacuum cleaner is now split into two pieces now let us see the front portion so this is the uh, dust bin this is the dust bin inside this the dust gets collected this is the filter assembly you can see so this is the uh, dust box here and this is the filter assembly it has got an outer steel mesh and an interior HEPA filter I hope you can see the HEPA filter I have already used this vacuum cleaner so let me show you how it opens so you have to twist it like the one direction and it opens See like this then getting this HEPA filter out is a bit tricky in the beginning you have to slightly push it outside like this you can put your thumbs here and then slightly push it see it is coming outside yeah so the HEPA filter is out you can see that this HEPA filter is a bit dirty because I used it uh, just a few hours before and I didn't wash it yes this HEPA filter is actually washable but uh, it's better not to wash it every now and then instead uh, it would be better to use a, a painting brush to brush off the dirt and once in a while you can wash it thereby uh, you can increase the life of this HEPA filter 
the company itself has mentioned in the brochure that if you're using this frequently then you might have to change the HEPA filter after around six months so if you're washing it on a daily basis your HEPA filter won't even last that much so that's why I'm using a brush to clean it I'll show that in the later part of this video so screw it back so that's it and then push it in see it's so simple even a kid can do this the pointer has to align properly with the unlock position and then you have to twist it like this see now it is locked so this is the switch to turn it on and off when you turn it on if it is fully charged battery will be battery will be full then light will be blue if the battery is empty that then the light will be red so the air comes out from this side the, the air blast is coming from this side you know i forgot to show you one thing uh, inside here there is a rubber flap so so this rubber flap is there to make sure that once you pull the dust inside it is not going outside when you uh, when you hold it like this to the towards the ground so it's uh, nothing big but uh, i just forgot to tell you about this okay let's align it and lock it okay so this is the karcher vacuum cleaner now let us mm, plug in the crevice nozzle like this so this is the vacuum cleaner with the crevice nozzle on you want the brush attachment just snap it into the position and it is pretty strong see now it is in the opposite direction let me pull it out and plug it in like this okay pretty simple so if you are planning to uh, buy a handheld vacuum cleaner then Karcher is a pretty good option it is pretty compact it only weighs some 650 grams now let's have a look at the performance of the Karcher VCH2 under different scenarios so uh, uh, I have taken the videos of me cleaning uh, in uh, different environments and uh, different scenarios so you can see and relate it uh, because uh, the need of every person differs you can see the rest of the video and understand where all this vacuum cleaner is usable and where all it is not so uh, please continue to watch the video till the end and then I will give you my user review on it
so friends uh, now let me give my honest feedback on, on this product after using the product for last two weeks these are my impressions the vacuum cleaner is very compact and easy to hold and so uh, you would you would not find it uh, difficult to carry this vacuum cleaner around your home and getting uh, different places cleaned up it's very easy to hold and uh, very easy to clean this locking mechanism is very robust and very easy to clean uh, the another good thing is that it is having a double filtration system it has a steel mesh and a HEPA filter inside so the air which is coming outside um, from the vacuum cleaner is pretty clean you if you are allergic to dust uh, this vacuum cleaner will not be bothering you very much so uh, that is one of the good thing which I found with this vacuum cleaner oh, sorry another thing is that uh, the run time is just 10 minutes but uh, that 10 minutes is considering uh, the compactness of this vacuum cleaner that 10 minutes is actually uh, pretty sufficient for your um, chuck cleaning task so this vacuum cleaner is basically meant for your quick cleaning task you want to do something heavy duty get a uh, normal vacuum cleaner I'm already having a normal vacuum cleaner I use my normal vacuum cleaner for heavy duty cleaning this one I use for uh, lighter purposes and for quick cleaning so when some guests are visiting you and then you want to quickly clean up the uh, corners of your house then uh, this vacuum cleaner is pretty useful even though the uh, it is only having 10 minutes of backup um, it can get recharged in around three hours two to three hours so uh, it's pretty useful uh, I have actually gone through other handheld vacuum cleaners uh, available in the market and I found that uh, in many cases where uh, the handheld vacuum cleaner is giving 20 minutes of backup time the price is almost double so at 10 minutes 2369 this is a value for money product another thing is that the build quality is really really good uh, i mean you can look at it and say it very clearly that there is no compromise on the fit and finish of this product and it produces very less sound so it's pretty good to use this switch is very friendly turn it on and turn it off uh, the feel is pretty nice here so these are the good things about the vacuum cleaner now the negative things uh, the things which I felt that they could have improved uh, that is the capacity I mean the dust capacity is pretty low here it fill it gets filled up pretty fast uh, many in many cases I have found it have found it getting filled up before the battery gets uh, completely drained out so uh, I think that uh, the capacity of this dustbin could have been increased a bit more uh, uh, then of course the battery capacity 10 minutes is kind of okay but sometimes you just have the feeling that it would have been better if uh, the, it was able to give 15 minutes but then you have to trade off with the weight of the machine so uh, I don't know whether I can call it as a negative so uh, the third thing about negative thing about this uh, vacuum cleaner is that it is very beautiful but it is also a scratch magnet especially this part so I don't know what kind of material they have used here but if you are not very careful with it then uh, it gets scratched pretty easily so you have to be uh, pretty careful with this vacuum cleaner so these are the pros and these are the cons of the vacuum cleaner I hope uh, um, 
uh, this video will help you to make a good decision on the purchase of a handheld vacuum cleaner if you like this video please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe uh, and share that's all from me thank you very much for watching this video have a nice day